everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another vlog. It, this is actually a TF Nation related vlog. Um, I haven't done a dedicated TF Nation vlog. I've been doing a lot of videos in regards to TF Nation on my main channel, but um, obviously I will be doing my TF Nation vlogging material through here. Um, basically both of my channels will be getting some kind of, will be getting TF Nation related videos. Uh, how it goes usually those that have been following me, those that have subscribed to me and those that have followed me on my channels or my main channel TF Nolsey will know how it works usually with me and majority of people that go to TF Nation. Usually you get like the build up videos which is like your question videos. Uh, I do my uh, guest and uh, update information videos as well as question videos but then around about the tf nation i usually do a pre-tfn video before going and then i also do a post tf nation video which is me coming home talking about my thoughts on the event and also any pickups that i purchased like my haul haul video or whatever and that's usually how it works, but then with this channel, my vlog channel, I usually use this one mostly for proper fly on the wall, proper documenting the convention. Um, I kind of upload those videos to this, um, to this one, which is what's going to happen. So basically, long story short, TF Nation is literally now 10 days away, well for me, because I... I set off on uh, the Thursday, which is the 11th of uh, August. Um, so, so, but the actual convention is actually in about 11 days, which is because obviously it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a three-day event. Um, yes, it is not long away now, and the excitement is certainly starting to build. Um, I've just been watching now uh, a, a good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, Mr. Few, Few Adams, or it's Mr. Toy Grind, Toy Grind. Uh, basically, he did a very long video, like nearly an hour and a half, a good hour and a half long, uh, going through most of the inventory, inventory or, or toy stock for Toy Fu. Um, basically Toy Fu, they basically have loads of toys and they donate money to charity called Mary's Meals. Um, so basically all the proceeds go to charity through them and they've managed to put together an amazing array, such a bountiful haul, so much stuff that is, it is going to be incredible. And from what they said is that they're going to have like their own dedicated little area just for Toy Fu. Um, with about eight tables, which is probably the largest I've probably ever heard of Toy Fu ever. So that's actually kind of making me wonder just how much, because usually one of the the biggest stalls, the biggest maybe one of the biggest stalls is usually Kapow Toys. Um, they usually take up an entire section, um, and then you've got In Demand Toys, which are also probably the, the second biggest, usually with their stall arrangement. And then you've got usually got other ones like Space Bridge and other other YouTube uh, other uh, UK based uh, toy merchants, whatever uh, people that sell toys and that. So yeah, well yeah, so that's going to be interesting. That apparently they've got eight tables all together, and apparently they're going to have like their own actual dedicated section. Um, and the amount of stuff that they've got this year is absolutely inc absolutely incredible, and I'm kind of buzzing. Um, I mean, I need to be a bit mindful at the same time. I need to kind of try and keep my mind in check that I don't have as much money. I probably won't have as much money this year as past years, uh, so I don't want to go too stupid. But at the same time, I'm certainly going to have a little bit of a look-see at some stuff that they've got. And uh, they've got a lot of Beast Wars this year, and they've got a lot of obscured, obscure stuff that kind of is piquing my interest. Um, but uh, but yeah, but we'll wait and see. At the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of people there over the weekend. If I miss something, if if I've missed out on something, it's the way it is. 
you know, first come, first serve. Um, but if I do see anything, I will certainly be uh, paying Toy for a visit over the weekend and may, may indeed pick up a couple of things. Um, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to TFN now. It's The excitement is now officially starting to build. I'm starting to really feel that convention, it's coming, it's here, it's like almost here. I have literally only got like another uh, seven days of work left, which essentially this week, which I only do four day weeks, I I have this whole week, Monday to Thursday, uh, from tomorrow to Thursday, and then next week I am in Tuesday, Monday Tuesday, and I think I break off on the Wednesday the tenth of it of August. And then I'm on holiday uh, for about, I think, just over a week altogether. Um, so, yeah, very much looking forward to it. So I've only got essentially seven days um, of work. And then it is party time. It is uh, So basically at the weekend, I'm going to be, um, next weekend, should I say, I'm going to be hopefully meeting up with Tony, Sound of SG1. And me and him are going to go and get some snacks, some stuff to take down with us, which is usually kind of a, a thing that we always do um, every year. Uh, get all that sorted out. And then, um, then I can kind of start to think about uh, what I'm going to be taking with me, uh, what I'm going to pack, you know, things like that, like my luggage and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very much looking forward to this. It is not long at all. Um, thinking that I've literally only got about like, uh, yeah, just this week and this week with work and then two more days next week. And then I break off on Wednesday and then that's me done because Wednesday is going to be my day of getting everything packed and ready. Um, hence why I'm not going to be in that day I want to dedicate that day to make sure I've got everything packed got all my clothes all sorted out what I'm going to be taking with me all that kind of jazz <laughs> make sure I've got all things that I need that needs to be charged uh, things of that nature so yes <sighs> it is almost here god I am so so pumped uh, it is it has been far, 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 far too fucking long. It really has. It has been like nearly. It well, it is coming up to three years. It'll be it be three years, literally of the weekend of TFN happening. Change of uh, thing. <laughs> Change of well, instead of being handheld, I thought I'd just do this. Go back to my normal way of doing it. Doing videos um but yes getting back to it um you know just i really just cannot wait i really just cannot wait i know i've said it so many times in this blog that you know i cannot wait but you know some people out there look from the outside looking in probably will not understand why i am so looking forward to it and why i am so excited and why the excitement is finally starting to build some people looking on the outside looking in probably will not understand it because some people don't really you know some people just don't understand like or just don't haven't maybe haven't dabbled in things like conventions comic cons things of that kind of nature uh before in their lives and uh, or maybe just aren't really interested or maybe don't really look into things as as deep as that and um you know anybody like that that, that you know looking in or watching these videos that i do that are like on the completely on the outs outside of it all you know those people will just will really understand but the the thing is with me is why you know, TF Nation, for me, it, it does mean a hell of a lot to me. And it means a lot to a lot of other people that go whenever it's on. And 
with it not being ha with it not being on as a physical event yes it has been there has been the last couple of years have been virtual events uh, or were virtual events um they just it wasn't the same um as actually being there as a collective as a bunch of people that share the same interests or not necessarily share the same interests but you know we we have a mutual interest which is transformers but we also have other interests but it's a space it's a space where we can be ourselves and not be you know dressed up and down a little bit or seen in a negative light from narrow-minded individuals in society because a lot of people that do things that go to conventions those people that don't understand or don't really uh, get get it they are very quick to judge those that do enjoy that kind of thing and tf nation or not just tf nation but conventions as a whole in america all over the world you know they are a place or a space to of expression and also a way for them to, for, for for the people that participate and go to these things it is a way for them to unwind and to be themselves without having to feel persecuted for just liking what they like or enjoying what they enjoy and that is the special thing that's why i love conventions i mean i've not you know tf nation is not the only convention i've ever been to you guys will know this because i have actually been to i have actually documented in a couple of, in a vlog other conventions in the past i'm pretty sure i have um so you know i i mean i've been to birmingham comic con i think twice maybe two or three maybe twice or three maybe twice um i've also been to a convention in doncaster as well called digicon you know i've been to quite a few over the years uh, but tf nation has been a long running thing that i've done since like 2010 when i was about 18 19 um so yeah so it's been a long running thing it's it's something that has helped me out as a person helped me out with me feeling awkward in myself um, feeling shy, getting over the issue of, um, you know, get you know, getting over the, the issue of um, meeting new people, because you know I used to struggle with that. You know, I used to struggle with meeting new people. Um, so yeah, it it, it has helped me immensely going to these things and tf nation is just such a great space and i've met so many great people that go to this thing uh, that i gladly call friends and that is the reason why i'm so excited to be able to finally return all of us can return to tf nation and catch up because it's going to be a mega mega catch up with a lot of people there's i i won't be surprised if there's going to be some tears when people first meet each other for the first time uh, this weekend because some people probably will still stay stay in contact through social media obviously obviously which does happen you know people do t you know p uh, stay in touch through social media through phone calls through text messages through what have you um which is fine but it's not the same as seeing them in person and you know i won't be surprised if there's i won't say everybody but i won't be surprised if some people might get a little bit emotional at first um which i can only understand if that does happen because i mean i'm not gonna get emotional i'm not not that type of person really um even though i don't say that in a bad way or a negative way there's nothing wrong with showing emotion whatsoever, but I'm not that type of person. I mean, I, I, you could say the only bit, of, the only kind of bit of emotion that I will probably show is excitement and happy to finally be there, back reunited, back in 
back at that hotel that we all call pretty much our second homes in a way and something that's become so familiar without you know familiar to us all that the hotel the bar and just have a great laugh have a good good bit of fun and just enjoy ourselves be able to just switch off leave the outside world leave everything else back back at home and just chill out and that is something i've missed because i've not really not really had anything to really look forward to because of the, as many others that are in the same boat because of covid and other people have had a lot of problems recently because of cost of living and all that kind of going on um struggling to make ends meet um you know I, you know there's all sorts of different factors with everybody and uh you know there's been a lot of unnecessary stress for everybody for the past couple of years or more and uh this is this, this week this weekend coming up no not this weekend but tf nation come, which is fast approaching you know it is going to really mean a lot and it's going to help a lot of people um in here you know it really is but uh it's certainly going to help me you know speaking for myself it's certainly going to help me because you know i yeah i just cannot wait i just can not fucking wait I really can't. It's uh, it's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun. And just as I'm doing this, my countdown is now saying 10 days. Actually 10 days exact. It was originally 10 days. When, when I first I shared it on Facebook earlier, um, I had like a countdown timer thing, that uh, app on my phone, and I put the countdown to me actually well i've done it to me actually setting off to, to birmingham which is the thursday um i don't do it to the actual day of the convention physically starting i do it to me actually getting on the coach and actually traveling down um so yeah basically uh just as i'm doing this bit of vlog doing this bit here it's just literally just come up at the top of the phone saying it is 10 days so it's 10 days dead until I get on that coach. I I get I have to get to Hull Interchange. 10 o'clock 10 o'clock 10 a.m. departure from Hull all the way to Birmingham. A good four hour trip with my good friend Tony, because I'll be traveling up with him as well. So I will be doing some, as as I said earlier in the vlog, I will be doing some vlogging material for the for this channel. Um, I've I've vlogged. I think, I think I did twenty eighteen, nineteen. I think I've only I think I've only done two of them, maybe three. I can't remember, but there might be more actually. There might be more than what I'm thinking. I think I've maybe vlogged at least two or three, um, like actually doing a proper journey vlog. Uh, because I go all out with the TF Nation vlogs, I I do because like I said as well earlier in the in this vlog, I kind of I do a pre video, which is before I go. I always do a pre video, um, which I will be doing on my main channel. I always do that, um, which is like showing off, you know, showing that I'm you know getting things packed, getting ready, and can't wait, and it's just like last minute last minute conversation about, about, about everything before we go and then obviously I'll be doing a post video which is when I come home talking about the experience and that, that is what I'll be doing but yeah so uh, one thing about the vlogs is um, with me actually traveling up with Tony we will be able to actually do a little bit of to and fro with the vlogs um, I'll actually have somebody to be able to bounce off of a little bit well, I say bounce off of. It's Tony we're talking about here. Even though I love you, mate. I'm only joking. But, yeah. Because um, originally I was literally travelling up on my own. Because usually 
uh, it's me and Sam and possibly Tony that travel together. There's so, usually two or three of us. And uh, so we've actually got something so we can actually talk to at least somebody uh, because it's a, it's a long way there without anyone to really talk to. Um, but uh, Tony's actually uh, on the same coach as me. We're going to be travelling up together. So it's actually going to make things a little bit more simpler, more easier in regards to my vlogs. Um, so I'll be able to get Tony involved in the vlogs and, you know, a little bit of maybe some sort of madness might, might ensue. Who knows? Uh, but at least there's that there as well. So I'll be able to do a proper vlog experience, hopefully. All things if all things go well um, and uh, of course sparingly because obviously I don't want to be too much behind the camera as you will understand I mean I want to I want to experience as much as I can without being behind the camera all the time but I will be I will be kind of uh, at certain points throughout the weekend I will probably do a tour of the dealer room probably might show all the other alternative things that they've got going on um any panels that's going on opening ceremony and closing ceremonies all that kind of jazz i will be doing i will be featuring within my vlogs um so that's what i usually do and the traveling up and possibly traveling back i don't know but we'll, we'll see how it goes so that's usually what i do with my vlogs and if anybody wants to be in the vlog actually be a part of it then by all means um you're more than welcome to be a part of it um i mean of, of course I'm, I'm very careful who i do include in my vlogs because some people do not do youtube and some people that, that go they don't do youtube and they don't really do cameras they don't want to be on camera and um, so i am mindful and try to be respectful of that because you know some people don't like it simple as so, but if anybody does want to be involved, that's to go in there. You're more than welcome to join in. Or come say hello while I'm doing anything. Whatever. Whatever. But anyway, so that's going to be today's vlog. Because I just wanted to talk about TFN and talk about my excitement. Because it's bottled up inside and it's starting to seep out. Seep out. Seep out. Seep out. It's starting to come out. And, uh, yeah it's starting to dawn on me that we are now as i just said 10 days away officially between 10 days of me getting on that coach on thursday the 11th of august oh yeah man oh yeah man i cannot wait i cannot wait i cannot wait so that is going to be me so thank you ever so much for watching me ramble and ramble on about stuff that probably doesn't make any fucking sense to anybody but as long as you guys enjoy the video, video the vlog is more that's all i care about so as long as you guys enjoy it so uh, yes um thank you very much and uh, i'll be back soon and uh, there will be a special pre live stream as well on uh, the 6th of august on my tf nosy channel so again if anybody's in in interested by all means uh come along but i will make sure people are aware of it um uh, on the day and i will put a link on social media and also i'll probably might do a little vlog on friday i might do a little vlog on friday letting people know about it just to remind people as well but uh yeah so i can have up to literally i found out Officially, I can have up to six people on on screen, including myself. Six people um, on the on the screen, a part of the stream at once. Um, I don't pay for. I I use something called Streamyard. Um, I don't pay for it, but on the free plan, which they call the free plan, you can have up to six. But if you paid for it, you can have up to ten people. But I don't think it would quite work with 10 people on at once because <coughs> I think it'll be too overcrowded and there'll be a lot of noise interference from everybody and it, it might not work out very well. So I think six people is pretty much perfect for a stream. Um, usually when you get live streams, 
of anything the maximum it is on screen at one time is between is anything between three to about six people usually anything between that number is usually the most people you'll get on a uh, on a stream because it works out better you're able to bounce off people you're able to introduce people easier and you're able to talk freely without it being too over the top <coughs> so it may, it's actually kind of good but anyway so if anybody wants to be on camera with me part of the stream you're welcome to as well um and if you just want to tape away on your keyboards and be be a part of it in that way go for it <coughs> but um i shall let you all know more information on that um on the day of because uh, it's going to be about i'm going to do it hopefully about seven in the evening uh on the 6th of august <coughs> which i think will be about okay so hopefully if all that goes well but thank you you're awesome you are all awesome so uh, see you soon everybody that's uh, everybody that t of my tfn friends watching this see you soon that are going and uh, I will see you, hopefully, anybody that wants to be a part of the live stream, I shall see you on Saturday, 6th of August. Bye-bye, then.